uh, we'll record this for you guys, make this a quick 10-minute video. So this is yesterday on the S&P. So in the room, we're showing three different markets. We're showing crude oil, we're showing the S&P, and we're showing uh, the NASDAQ futures. And what I have in the room are these uh, uh, zone breaks, or zone momentum breaks. We know that my zones, my 54, 38 zones, have been tested uh, for over 30 years. Um, and we know that those are the highest probability zones for looking for reversals. Well, what about momentum trading with these zones when they break? And that's the strategy we come up with, you guys. We talked about this for about two to three months, calling it the stronger and weaker market. And the stronger and weaker market simply is stating that we are looking for a break in momentum to the upside or downside. So yesterday at 2.16, um, at 2.16, the ES breakdown was 76.5. I posted this in the room at 76.5. How I derived that number was from these dots that come up, and I'll show you in a second. We've had some plays on crude oil this morning and the NASDAQ futures already, you know, this morning. So we'll go over that in a second. But when these dots fire off, when, when they come up like this, that shows you a, a what's per se what's a zone break or what's called a pivot level that the market should react off of. So what that means is that if we close two bars or two candles below, two price bars below that zone dot, then you have a possible breakdown in the market. So when I seen that we kept bumping up against 76 and a half yesterday, so I posted it at 216 in the room, ES breakdown is 76 and a half because the dots were below the price bars. So you're looking for a breakdown, not breakout. The market was in a, in a weaker position. So if it's in a weaker position, we're looking for a two candle close or two bar close below. So there's one, there's two. Your short is where the arrow's at. So there's your short at 76 and a half. I mean at the 76 and a half break. So the short occurred at, at 239 I posted ES is trying to break. What does that mean? I noticed that at uh, 239 right here we had one bar closed below the pivot level or the zone break dot. So what we need is two closes and that will get the market possibly rolling to that direction. So once it broke that's what broke the markets back, and we had over a 10-point potential move to the downside. So I spelled potential wrong over there. But that's your 10-point potential move to the downside. So you're getting a big heads up at these levels. And I'll show you on the one on the NASDAQ futures that just happened. I'm watching my other charts right now that broke out here in a second. The buy was at 8.25 here a second ago, and I'll show you how you want to do that. But So you're getting a big heads up when these come up before they even break. All right? So let's take a look at this on how we can anticipate these moves before they happen. So once you get a red zone dot, you know below price, that is your breaking point, possible breaking point in the market, or a green dot above price, that's your possible breaking point in the market to the upside. We just had one on the NASDAQ, I'll show you in a second, live here in a second. So when you watch these today, um, this is off of a 120.20, uh, ES chart. I use the 125.25 on all the other charts. Pretty much universal. NASDAQ, uh, the Russell 2000, uh, crude oil. We had a 100, 100 tick drop yesterday in crude, I'll show you, from this inflection point. But so when you see these dots fire off to the below price, that's your, that's your possible short or above is your possible buy. But it's got to close. Here's a key. It's got to close two candle closes below that that zone break okay because like I said we've tested these zones for over 30 years um, we, we know that they are the highest probability zones so why not use them for momentum when those zones break okay so let's take a look at the markets and we have a breakout on the NASDAQ futures right here so you can see the NASDAQ futures right here got into a stronger position we got into a stronger position at this level. Well, these this zone 
showed you that a zone break was here on the NASDAQ that formed right there at that level. So here's our zone break this morning that just happened on, on this trade setup as far as right there, as far as that goes. Once I get two candle close above the zone, I get a two candle close, would be one and then two. Once I get two candles that close above the zone, then we have a breakout. And that is a breakout with momentum. So you can trade these with momentum. Uh, the NASDAQ from 6 o'clock this morning had several back-to-back -back momentum trades to the downside. And it's just the opposite to the downside. The opposite to the downside, if you go back to 6 this morning, we had some breakdowns. I, I like when they actually test support and then they finally break. So if you noticed, uh, we, we had these red dots that formed these zones. This is a zone that told you that this is a possible breakdown. Well, it tried to get into a weaker position here, but my zone never broke. So you can see it kept going, kept going, and then all of a sudden we got into a weaker position. The market is into a weaker position. And then you can see if I put this straight across, my zone broke. Two candle close, one, two, and the market gets crumbled here this morning at 6.30 this morning on the NASDAQ futures. So you can see the short is just the opposite. You're looking for these red uh, leading zones to tell you when the breakout levels possibly are. Now this works on the Dow, Russell 2000. It doesn't matter what you tr trade or look at. Gold, crude oil, what have you, they're all the same. So, you know, we had a breakout level here. So these, these dots that formed here at this level are now the new breakout level. So you'll want to wait for a stronger position to get into a stronger position. And then you'll want two closes above. The now, the next pivot level for us to trade off my zone break would be 39 a quarter. Now to help you out with trend, well, I have the charts right above that to let you know with trend. You can see the NASDAQ on my 5438 is hard trending. So when you, when you look to buy this breakout with two candle close at 825, what position am I at 825? I'm in this position. I'm in a strong position with my 5438 zone. That's when you're going to see these trades fire off. You're going to see these breakout trades fire off at the stronger position or the weaker position with the chart above you. Okay, so you can see that the zone, my 5438 zone, we all know those zones tend to push the market hard in that direction. So you can see when these levels break, then you have a possible nice little break. So this morning at 6 o'clock this morning, we had a breakout on crude oil. We had two breaks, actually. We had three breaks, I'm sorry, three buy, buy signals. We had a buy signal here breakout in a stronger position at 6.12. Crude oil, we had a buy breakout here. Got into a stronger position. We broke our, our zone. Another buy there, and here we got into a stronger position, and two candle close breakout. Now the next buy on crude, since crude's in an uptrend, there it is. So that's our next buy level breakout with a two candle close above crude oil. So it's very simple to understand. If you can notice crude oil, let's take a look at it since 6 o'clock this morning. The same thing, I mean, we are trending. We've been trending on crude oil since 439 this morning on my 5438 zones. So what this helps you do is it helps you find breakout points with trend. So if we are trending up, where these breakout points are happening at on these zone breaks, they're happening with the overall hard push. So you're getting these breaks with a burst of momentum. So these are the burst of momentum that happened this morning. So if you notice that when my zones are turning up here, you're going to get burst of shorts. If I go back and look at shorts this morning, I bet you we got shorts right in here between 4 to 4.30. And we probably got shorts right there from 1 o'clock, which I'll go back and show you. From 1.30 into 3.30, these are bursts of momentum. Burst of momentum. Burst of momentum. So you can see the charts above you, they let you know when you have bursts of momentum. So we were already in a hard uptrend on our zones. 
So these just give you levels of breakout levels to look to narrow your focus. Now if I look back and I look when the breakdowns, right there's my breakdowns. I just said the burst of momentum was short, right? Well, here you go. And, and if you look, here's your breaking points in the market. If I look at the breaking points in the market on crude oil since midnight, I love when this happens. You come down and test my zone and you bounce. And then you get into a weaker position going into the break. There's your weaker position. And there's your two, one, two, break. There's your candle break, and the market just falls apart. Then we come to the next one. Remember, that's a burst of momentum I'm talking about this morning. Yesterday was a 100 tick trade on crude. I'll show you that. And Clay, good job on that one. Thanks for the email on that, Matt. That's a good trade setup. So you look at the break here. And then there's your two close on there. So you can see the zones were down, hard down this morning since midnight. My 5438 zones, there's a breaking point. There's a breaking point. Then my zones turn up. So there's my down. My zones turn up right around 6 o'clock this morning. Now this is where the dot is. See this dot that comes in? That's a trend change. Now we got a trend change. This is where the dot comes in. That tells me there's a trend change happening in the market. Since we have a trend change in the market, you want to look for a buy signal now. So we're looking for a buy signal. It's a short here. Short. Two candle close. Two candle close this morning on crude. And then you have a trend change. So what you want to do is you want to look for the buy breakout. It actually started trending here on the burst of momentum there, there, there. Now we're looking for another breakout here at 71.22 on crude oil. Okay, so these will come up automatically for you. So once they come up, you have levels to break. So what you're essentially doing is this, guys. This caught the big shorts this morning, right? Here, caught that big, big short when it broke the zone, zone break, zone break. Caught this buy, buy, buy. You're really just going with the overall 54.38 trend, and we're going down to a zone break on a smaller, on, on by, um, here we go. On this, right below us, we're going to a smaller um, smaller levels to look for breakouts or breakdowns. But it's got to be two candle close above or below price. That is key. All right? So if I look on the S&P, right now I have a breakdown where? Where's, where's the breakdown of the S&P? What's my breakdown of the S&P now? My breakdown of the S&P, so yesterday my S&P breakdown, which I gave you guys a heads up. So at 216 here, I said, hey, the S&P, the level's right there at 76 and a half. Exactly. That's what I typed in the room before it even broke. And then at 239, I said the s and is trying to break. I typed that in the room for you guys. Well, there's your break on the S&P, and then it falls over 10 points. All right. Well, then you get a trend change yesterday near the close. And I'll tell you what, the one thing you want to do if you're trading the NASDAQ futures, we know the institutions like to mark the market up or mark the market down near the close. Start watching this at 3.50 to 4 o'clock on the NASDAQ futures. If, if, if you want to look for uh, late trades in the day, when the institutions try to mark the market up or mark the market down into the close, I'll show you in a second. Works really good with this technique. But now we look today on the S&P, where's our breakdown level? Our breakdown level is right here. So we know that the inflection point is six, uh, 66 now. So 66 is our breakdown on the S&P this morning. Just like yesterday, 76 and a half was. So it gives you a big leading heads up when you got a possible roll in the market. Let's look at the close on the NASDAQ futures. I, I want you to watch this at the close today at, uh, for you guys that trade the NASDAQ. So you get a nice little a burst of momentum going in at uh, 350. So at 350, I noticed this. So we all know there's institutional window dressing at the end. Algorithms like to cover um, institutions. 
so on. They like to either buy into the close or sell into the close. Big breakouts in that last 10 minutes of trading. Big burst of momentum there. It tries to break out, hits its head. I love these tops, and then they finally break out. Big burst of momentum here. Big burst of momentum here. Four big trades in a row. NASDAQ futures, 601. You usually can trade all the way up to around 410. Big burst of momentum there, and the market goes into the close. So, and that happens if I go back to the, the previous day at that 50 level, you'll notice that it does like to do this on a, on a daily basis. I don't have my charts going back that far. Let's see. But uh, watch at 350 today. Really neat way to do it. You can see that the right here again, the burst of momentum on the NASDAQ futures. Check this out. We just had another trade set up that fired off. That's a burst of momentum there. And then look at the breakout levels. So if you're buying, if you're trading the NASDAQ, there's your one, two breakout here. Hit your targets. And here's your one, two breakout there. Got into a stronger position. So NASDAQ's fired off a couple of trades. Now the NASDAQ will fire off tons of trades like this during the day. So it's not like you're missing these. But if you notice, the market gets into a stronger position. We get into a stronger position here. We close two candle closes outside. Market takes off. Just in the last couple of trades. This is the last two trades on the NASDAQ that's running right now. Hit your targets. Hit your targets. All right. This will be this will be a strategy for members. Also, um, we will be having a strategy for you members. But we will leave this in the room for you guys.